Why India has not purchased the SUA-34 fighter jet from Russia. Welcome back to our channel, everyone. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic that has sparked a lot of curiosity among defense enthusiasts, asterisk why hasn't India purchased the SUA-34 fighter jet from Russia. India and Russia have a long-standing defense relationship, with India operating several Russian-made aircraft like the Su-30 MKI and MiG-29. So, why hasn't the Su-34, a formidable strike aircraft, made its way into the Indian Air Force's fleet? Let's break it down. 1. What is the Su-34? First, let's understand what the Su-34 is. The Su-34, also known as the asterisk fullback asterisk, is a Russian twin-engine, twin-seat strike fighter designed for precision strikes against ground and naval targets. It's known for its long-range capabilities, heavy payload capacity, and advanced avionics. The Su-34 has been widely used by the Russian Air Force in conflicts like Syria, showcasing its effectiveness in combat. So, why hasn't India, a major importer of Russian military hardware, shown interest in this aircraft? 2. India's existing fleet. One of the primary reasons lies in India's existing fleet. The Indian Air Force already operates the Su-30 MKI, a multi-role fighter jet that shares some similarities with the Su-34. The Su-30 MKI is highly versatile, capable of air superiority, ground attack, and even maritime strike missions. Introducing the Su-34 would mean overlapping capabilities, which doesn't make much sense from a strategic or financial standpoint. India has already invested heavily in the Su-30 MKI fleet, with over 270 units in service. Adding another similar aircraft would strain maintenance and logistics without offering significant advantages. 3. Focus on indigenous development. Another key factor is India's push for indigenous defense production. Over the past decade, India has been focusing on developing its own fighter jets, like the Tejas Mk-1A and the upcoming Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, AMCA. The government's asterisk Make in India asterisk initiative aims to reduce dependency on foreign imports and boost domestic defense manufacturing. Purchasing the Su-34 would contradict this vision, as it would mean relying on foreign technology instead of supporting homegrown projects. For the cost and budget constraints, let's talk about the elephant in the room, cost. The Su-34 is an expensive aircraft, and India's defense budget is already stretched thin. With competing priorities like modernizing existing fleets, investing in new technologies, and addressing personnel needs, the Indian Air Force has to make tough decisions. Moreover, the Su-34 specialized role as a strike fighter limits its versatility compared to multi-role aircraft like the Su-30 MKI or Rafale. For India, it's more cost-effective to upgrade existing platforms or invest in versatile aircraft that can perform multiple roles. 5. Geopolitical considerations. Geopolitics also plays a role. While India and Russia have a strong defense partnership, India has been diversifying its defense imports in recent years. The purchase of Rafale jets from France and the increasing cooperation with the United States highlight India's strategy to avoid over-reliance on any single country. Additionally, Russia's involvement in conflicts like Ukraine has led to international sanctions, making it harder for India to justify large-scale purchases from Russia without facing diplomatic repercussions. 6. Future Prospects So, what does the future hold? While India may not be interested in the Su-34 right now, it's always possible that the two countries could collaborate on newer platforms or upgrades. For instance, India and Russia are already working together on the BrahMos missile system and the fifth-generation fighter aircraft, FGFA, program. However, for now, the Su-34 doesn't fit into India's strategic or operational needs. The focus remains on modernizing existing fleets, supporting indigenous projects, and diversifying defense partnerships. And there you have it. While the Su-34 is undoubtedly a powerful aircraft, it doesn't align with India's current defense priorities. From overlapping capabilities with the Su-30 MKI to the push for indigenous development and budget constraints, there are several reasons why India hasn't purchased the Su-34. What do you think? Should India consider the Su-34 in the future, or is it better to focus on homegrown solutions? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth analyses like this one. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.